All right. Welcome back to another Macro Monday. We're going to go through the next kind of decade of macros I've got set up. Uh, some of these might give you ideas. A lot of macros are really specific to a specific uh, show file or environment, but the concepts can be super useful. Um, so here we go on this show. I'm just going to expand the label just a little bit here. So we're going to start off here on 10, to macro 10. And so this one's center stage sneak out and sneak up. And uh, this is that kind of, if you want to call in a traditional theater, this might be the place an MC comes out center stage. Um, might be the director or producer that comes out during intermission. This uh, could be in a church or house of worship environment where you have a speaker come out center stage. And so this is a great time if it's not written into the queue. And these basically go clear the command line um, group. So group 52 and 55 and 56 and 73. So those are the groups of fixtures that make up all that area that we call the center stage. And yeah, you could create one group for that. We have them kind of split out this way. Um, sneak at zero, time of two. So that's going to take it out in two seconds. And then this sneaks in a time of two to a specific intensity palette, 60, which is our standard uh, values for that position. Uh, and this is a house of worship environment. So this is the sermon sneak up and out. Um, and so this one does something kind of fun. So we take 300 through 309 offset mirror out intensity 60 sneak time two and 310 through 313 intensity palette 60 also, that's a standard value sneak time four. So this one's going to sneak up in four seconds, but this one's going to sneak up of a time of two, but it's going to start from the center and then splay outward, which is kind of neat. Um, the sneak out's much more simpler. It's 300 through 313, sneak intensity palette 63, which is also our out value. You could say sneak out, um, but we just have an intensity palette for that. Uh, and then blinder sneak out is our next one within this decade. So this allows us to sneak out the blinders. If we've written blinders into a queue, and let's just say it's not appropriate at this moment, um, one way to inhibit it here is that we'll take that manually out. 14 in the next decade is also short, so we'll continue. Um, online help, this is a button we'll put on certain magic sheets that let people quickly go to the online help. So let's talk about 21 and 22. They're kind of special and kind of unique. Um, you can see they reference macro 401, and the next one references macro 402, and they copy into 400. So let's just jump over to those. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to macro 400, and that way we can see them. So we've got, this says time code off, time code on, and time code off. And really all these are doing are changing what's in that magic sheet. So the time code on is referencing magic sheet 2. 03 and time code, oops, sorry, time code off is referencing magic sheet 202. And you can see when we go back up to 21 and 22, all that macro is doing is copying these up into macro 400. So now we'll go back to macro 21. And what you're seeing is, is it's going to take event list one, macro mode enable, which enables the silent mode, and then it copies macro 401 to 400 and then it brings you to magic sheet 200 and so this is a little more complicated but this is manipulating it and the same thing here and the way this works in reality let me bring you to a magic sheet here real quick so with this magic sheet up here you can see it says macro 400 time code off and if you remember we copy macro 401 and 402 into that so this as a magic sheet is actually just pulling this label and this button um, from from that dynamic list. When I press time code off, it brings us to this magic sheet, which is magic sheet 202, which says, are you sure you want to turn time code off? And if I say yes, turn it off. Now you see this has changed to time code on, but it's still referencing macro 400. And that's what we're doing is that behind the scenes, we're swapping out, we're copying from macro 401 or 402 up to 400. So that's what makes this go from on to off and it toggles back and forth. And if I just go into this magic sheet and I click on this, you can see the target is actually 400 and it's grabbing the name straight from the macro label. When I click on this, however, you can see here the turn it on is really triggering that macro 22 
versus this one triggering macro 21. And so hopefully that gives you an idea of how we're doing this kind of virtual toggle between the two um, by copying those macros around. So that's kind of maybe an intermediate macro uh, step. Hopefully that makes sense to you on the way we're doing that. Um, but that's lit turning silent mode on and off. We're not actually disabling time code. Uh, we're just uh, still listening to it or ignoring it. And that's it for this decade. Remember, like, click, subscribe, and we will have more macros next Monday.